Alright guys, so since it's night time and I uh, have too much time tonight to work on this before work tomorrow, I'm just going to go ahead and just do the, the control box, get that one out of the way. So, I've got all the acrylic here. I'm going to go ahead and take off all this stuff. It's a pain to get this cover off and then we're going to assemble it. Two hours later. Alright, so finally got it all peeled. Uh, we're going to do the first kind of things first. Uh, we're going to get some screws and everything like that so we can attach the LCD and uh, the power box and everything to the pieces and then we're going to go ahead and put the pieces together and then we're going to worry about the wiring another time. So let's go ahead and start it on putting the pieces onto the acrylic. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need to do is pull this off. Took a little bit of a finagling so just hold it down on the potentiometer part and then pull it up really slow. It should, it should come off. As far as this little seal, you can just take it off or keep it on depending on how loud or quiet you want it. I think it's best if you take it off, but I'm just going to try it with it on first. The next thing you're going to do is going to go ahead and line it up with this, push it on through, kind of get everything all seated, and then I'm going to go ahead and put my knob back on. I'm just going to push it down nice and slow all the way on. Clicks, rotates, now you're going to get the four bolts in. Okay, so the first step we're going to do is we're going to mount the power box to here. You are going to need your tool here, See the, the medium sized allen wrench. You're going to be looking for the bolts that are like this big, they're really small. You're going to put two corners in, get it all lined up first, finger tight, just like that, not too tight. If the glass starts whining or like making a weird, like a, I don't know, kind of like a sizzle noise, I don't know how to explain it, then you have it too tight, like that, a little whining sound. You're going to put the four bolts on, uh, the back cover does go towards this dot here which is where the power input for the cord is going to go. So you want it, the screws facing that way. There you go, that's the first step. All right, so the next step is to get these uh, walls on there. Now these things come in separate pieces, but you're going to just layer them over each other and then install them. On this guy here, this top left section, I had to file literally like maybe three or four passes with the file to, uh, to get it to fit right. So then you just attach that. Fit nice and snug now. There we go. There it goes. Nice and snug. Set on there, and then you can always add your your bolts here afterwards. So we're gonna do that next. We're just at the top cover. It's like ridiculously snug. You're gonna get these other size bolts. That's like this. That size. I'm not sure what the size is. I haven't measured any of this, and the manual doesn't really say. But anyway, you're going to take one of those bolts, and you're gonna take the nut first off, insert it into this little hole here and then come to the top with the bolt, get that going. So, I just put that little uh, bolt in there and then you screw it on the side there, like that. Again with another one, my thumb down here to hold the um, nut anyway. Bolt through on, through the top, and then let it catch. Caught in there now. Ooh, so there we go, that's the first part. I think this is the only thing you have to mount to the bottom, that's why I'm at. The only part I'm gonna attach to the bottom right now is a little vent on the bottom here because the rest of it on top you can kind of push together and get it to fit right. So now we're going to go ahead and just move this to the side and the nuts through these little holes. Okay, now we're going to put the bolt through. And tighten it. I'm just going to keep them kind of loose though because we still got to get other components in there. Do this other side here. Now that you got all the other sides tightened, you can finish tightening the power box on the bottom. And boom! So next thing we're going to install is the power button. We're going to keep track of how we have these colors, brown, blue, black. Okay, so the, one, the only thing that we have going here is it's a blue, so we're going to take that off. Okay, so now we're going to put the wires through the front here. Put it back to the nut. Actually, we'll pull this through first. Let's do the nut again. Then screw the nut back on. We're going to orient this the right way. Next step of what we're doing next is trying to align it here so that your reset button can get pressed. And we're adding the four thin kind of uh, short length screws here, adding them, kind of screwing it in place. Terrible video. Okay. 
Okay, so we're just tightening all this down. Here we go. So now we can actually drop this in to this front section here. This is why we keep it loose. So you can kind of slip it in place. And boom. There you go. So now we're going to go ahead and get our this kind of bolt. Going to. Okay, there we go. Got the little bolt in. Just going to finger snug it. Do the other side now. Putting the bolt through, kind of stopping it with the bolt until the nut falls in place. Then I can push the bolt into the nut and then you screw it together. Boom. Okay, so we're just gonna tighten that slightly. All right. Now I think I'm gonna go ahead and mount the main board on here before we do any of the other wiring. So here we go. Okay, so you're gonna get four more of these thin ones. You're going to push them through four holes. What you're going to do here is you're going to take these little brass pallets or whatever they're for these guys here. We're going to screw over these until it's snug, just like we did on the other printer. Cool. So now we're going to take the main board. We're going to mount it with uh, the LCD cable inputs facing where the LCD is. We're going to go ahead and just mount that onto these four holes. Okay, perfect. These cables off to the side here, which I think is awesome that they, they've they uh, kept it kind of already wired. I'm going to go ahead and attach these nuts. Put one just to hold it so I can show you guys. We're going to use these very, very small, small nuts. You know, you know what I'm talking to uh, attach these here. Probably would have been easier if you did this first before putting the box together but always I didn't think ahead like that. And if you really want to you could take your small allen wrench and then hold your, your nut, tighten it, it'll actually grab the nut. It works really well if you should do that. I'm gonna get this last bolt and then we'll be good. So it wasn't actually that hard to get that one in there. Cool. So now we got the main board stuck on there. We can pull these wires through Underneath here, get them kind of set and ready to put here because the N and the L are going to go to where it's marked on the power box or the power supply, N and L. And then this one, the blue one goes to the uh, the plug. So one more thing is you got to add this black wire, this plug through here, that plug in here to the back, a snug fit, get this in here, okay? Then you're going to put these longer thin ones again in there and you're going to secure them, the two brass inserts again these guys here and if you want you can actually uh, lock them with some the nuts or whatever you choose to so just take your allen wrench close those tighten them sweet the next step is going to to put these gigantic <laughs> long screws through the two holes that hold the fan add the fan I'm adding the wires facing towards the power supply and it's gonna go through both holes here I'm not sure these will need the brass inserts or not. I don't think they will. It kind of looks like it might have needed them, but I don't think. All right, guys, so we're back. I managed to get this to sit flush against the actual back of the housing and in order to do that you can either use a smaller bolt with a little washer or, or some sort of nut that will hold it nice and flush or you can do what I do and then uh, I just drilled a little hole let me see if I can get this to focus on this yeah I just drilled a hole right there where this bolt lines up that way you can still use the other two holes to mount it so we're gonna do that now all right so now you're gonna use these really long screws and you're gonna put them through the, the only holes that are left Make sure they go all the way through the fan, and then uh, we can uh, mount them now. So, I'm trying to decide whether I want to use these brass inserts to hold the back of the fan, or just some regular washers. I think I'm going to go with the brass ones, because I don't see that I need them for anything else, now that I've already mounted the board and everything. So, we're just going to add the brass on here, and then we're just going to spin them with both fingers until that gets mounted there. So, sorry if the quality is a tiny bit fuzzier than last time. I'm, I didn't want to um, deal with uh, setting up every camera angle and zooming in, so I'm just kind of digitally zooming in. And I'm actually thinking about adding washers to all of these little holes. That way 
they uh, they disperse the pressure on the acrylic a little bit better so they don't break. So anyway, so I'm just gonna I took it off and we're gonna mount this. Here we go. So we got the fan. I'm not actually entirely sure what uh, direction this is supposed to be, but I'm gonna leave that shield on this side. All right. So all right. So now we're going to mount here, here, and here with uh, the bolts that we used to mount all the other acrylics together. Cool. So now we're going to mount these screws here. Might be a bad idea because I might have to take it off to do some wiring, but you know, we'll we'll figure it out. Cool, we got that one mounted in there. So now we're gonna do this other top corner. Perfect. Just push it in and then screw that together. All right, last one. Put the nut in there. Push this in here. Cool, and it's done. That's all the pieces that we needed to mount. They're mounted. And last but not least, throw this cover in rid of all the dust and there's your box your control box all nice and assembled so we're actually gonna work on the frame now because I'm gonna um, do the wiring probably last so here we go <laughs> 